Hey Alexa, turn on the vibes. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name's Nathan. And so I know college started a couple weeks ago for the large majority of people. And whether you're a freshman moving into your dorm for the first time and you don't know quite what to do with your room, or if you're an upperclassman just looking to make small improvements to your current setup, then in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the essential dorm room tech that every college student should have in 2021. Before I get into the video though, if you're new to the channel and if you're into tech just like I am, reviews, unboxings, tips and tricks, then please subscribe to the channel as I have more videos coming in the future. And so with that being said, here is my list of essential dorm room tech that I believe every college student should have. So to kick off the list, one of the most important items is a portable Bluetooth speaker. Not only will it help liven up your room when you have friends over, you're just chilling by yourself, but a portable Bluetooth speaker, you can take it anywhere. When you go to the shower, when you go to a friend's house, when you go outside, or even if you're just chilling in your own room, a Bluetooth speaker is definitely a must have. I know many of you probably already have one right now, but if you don't, I'm here to help lead you onto the right path to picking the right one. So when you're on the market for looking for a speaker, there are three main things that I want you to look for, and that is battery life, durability, and sound quality. So I currently have two Bluetooth speakers. I have the JBL Charge 3 and I have the JBL Charge 4. So I got the JBL Charge 3 back in 2016 and I got it like sophomore year of high school and it is still like it's scuffed up a little bit but it still works perfectly fine and this isn't like a sponsored video by JBL or anything but I definitely think that they just make really high quality portable Bluetooth speakers and they check all the boxes I just talked about. I ended up getting the Charge 4 about two years ago because a cool thing about these is that you can sync them up through the JBL app and then you can play them like surround sound. So I put one on one side of my room, the other on top of my desk. Having one in front of you and behind you, it really does just amplify the sound and it makes it more like you're actually there listening to the song being recorded itself. So some great features about the JBL speakers is that these are IPX7 water resistant which means that you can fully submerge these in water. I've taken this to the pool before, dunked it in under, and it's perfectly fine, it works well. You do lose the Bluetooth connection when it goes under the water, but like that doesn't matter. The thing you have to keep in mind is on the backs of these, there's a flap that has like all like the ports on it. Um, you want this to be closed if it's around water. If that's open and it gets into water, then the speaker is probably done for. The JBL speakers are also super durable. They're made with this rugged fabric on the outside that's gonna protect them from any drops or falls or if anything hits them. And again, that's one of the most important things. You don't wanna be outside like playing Frisbee and something to hit your speaker and then it breaking on you. I've dropped this a couple times already. I've actually dropped both of them um, and they're perfectly fine. Like no damage to the sound quality, nothing with the Bluetooth connection. So that's definitely a plus with these. And one thing that really makes these speakers stand out is that on the back, there's a USB-A port in there, and this is like a portable charger. So bring your lightning cable with you. If you have an iPhone, if your phone's running low on battery, you can plug it into this and it'll charge your phone up. So it's just like a little extra feature with this that I've used a couple times already, and it's honestly really helpful. And most importantly, these speakers do sound great as well. They have dual passive external radiators that really push the bass out of it and just give it a nice full sound. There's also a tweeter, depending on which one you get, a tweeter or two inside. And if you think that the charge is too big of a speaker for you, then they also have a flip. They have a clip that's even smaller. And then if you want something a little bigger, they have the extreme. So my JBL speakers have been super reliable for me. And if you're on the market for a new one, then I definitely recommend looking up the JBL speakers and I'll leave links to some of the most popular ones down below. So now the next dorm room essential I feel like everyone should invest in is some sort of smart speaker or smart device. So you need to get one with a voice assistant inside. And I currently have the Amazon Echo Dot third generation. And I honestly use this for like request way more than I thought it would. When I first got it, I was like, ah, eh, how much are gonna use this? I'm using it all the time to ask her for like, the weather for the day, the current temperature outside, random math questions I have for it. And specifically with the Echo Dot series, depending on which generation you get, they're gonna run you between like 30 and 50 bucks, which isn't bad at all for like what you're gonna be able to get out of it. You can play music through it, 
but I never do that because I have my, my Bluetooth speakers, I have my desk speakers up. But the real benefits of getting a smart speaker in your room comes when you start getting more smart devices as well. They can all sync up through one app on your phone and then just a voice command can turn on lights in your room, can set up something, can set you an alarm, and I use it all the time. So if you end up picking one of these up, I also recommend you getting the next dorm essential I'm about to talk about, which are smart plugs. So for a few years, I only had one smart plug, which was the Amazon smart plug, because I got it in a bundle with my Echo Dot. But since then, I've gone on to get two more in a bundle through a third-party company called Casa. This is what they look like, very similar to the Amazon smart plug. They all have a physical on and off switch that also acts as the Bluetooth connecting button. My goal with all these smart plugs was to connect them all to my Alexa app and then just have them all in the same group. So when I walked into my room, I could turn on all the smart plugs and it would kind of like bring my room to life. But unfortunately, the two Costa smart plugs do not connect to public Wi-Fi's and at Syracuse University, our main Wi-Fi is public. Luckily, my Amazon plug does, so I wanna keep that in mind. If you're also at a university that has a public Wi-Fi, you won't be able to connect these through there. But even then, so with my one smart plug, I am able to still do a lot. So the more smart plugs you get around your room that hook up to your smart device, such as my Amazon Dot, the more benefits you're gonna get from having them all together. So tagging along with the smart plugs and the smart devices, the next dorm room essential is really going to bring your room to life and that is with smart LEDs or smart Wi-Fi lights. So when you start to link all three together, the LEDs, the smart plugs, and the smart devices, you can do things like I did at the start of the video where I turned on all the lights in my room with just saying a voice command. I know it's a little cheesy, but no one else I know has a setup like that and it kind of just makes your room stand out compared to other people. So how I was able to set this up was I connected one of the smart plugs to the Alexa app by following the connection steps and renamed the plug the Vibes. Then I plugged a power strip into the smart plug and I use this power strip for all my LEDs, which you want to leave turned on at all times. Then in a separate outlet, I have another power strip and that's where I plug my Alexa into. By doing this, your smart speaker is always on and when you ask it to either turn on or off the lights of the smart plug, it's only gonna be the lights connected to the smart plug that will turn off. The more lights you add to your group, my group being the vibes, the more lights that will turn on when you ask it to. I also have a smart plug over there hooked up to my TV, so that one can't connect through the Wi-Fi, but I go over there, I press the side button and it turns on, and there's a light strip behind my TV that also turns on as well. And it really just gives something to my TV that I like and it kind of brightens up that corner of the room. I also have the Govi Smart light bars behind my monitor. I love these ones right here. I usually have them on this cool gradient effect that switches between the colors from side to side, and it really adds something to my desk setup, and I love that about them. I also have two separate light strips. One of them goes around the edge of my desk, and the other one goes underneath my bed around the frame, and it kind of just changes it up. It kind of gives my bed a little glow and the back of my desk a glow. Please don't be like every other college student that has the LEDs up on top of their ceiling. Be different, stand out, try something different. Be your own person. <laughs> I also don't have my LED strips up on the ceiling because I'm an RA and that's against fire code. So I gotta lead by example and I can't do that or else I'll get in trouble if my boss were to walk in my room. Another great thing about just incorporating all this smart tech into your room is that those days of like flipping light switches for me are done. Those days are done. When I'm walking out of my room, I don't have to worry about turning off the lights. All I say is, hey, turn off the vibes and she'll turn them off for me. When I walk into my room, if it's pitch black, I walk in and say, hey, turn them on. They come on right away. It's like a little fun thing that happens when you walk in and out of your room. And I'm really focusing on like the little things in life. And that's one of the little things in life that I really find cool. I'm so happy now that every time I get into bed and I'm super tired, I can get ready for bed, take out my contacts, hop in there, chill with the vibes on, and then when I'm ready for bed, I take off my glasses and I say, hey, turn off the vibes, and they just turn off right away. And I think my room just stands out compared to other people that I've been in. And I think my room just stands out now compared to other people's rooms that I've been inside of. And so the last essential piece of dorm room tech for 2021 are wireless charging pads. At this point, companies are just busting out products with wireless charging in them from smartphones to tablets to headphones. I think everyone should get a wireless charger and start using these features that these companies work so hard to make. I actually have two different wireless chargers. I have a stand for my phone late at night when I go to bed 
and then I have a flat one that I use for my headphones. I use the flat one for my headphones all the time. Whenever I'm walking in from a long day of class, I just put my headphones on there and I know next time I go to use them, they'll be at 100% battery. And it really just saves me some peace of mind as to whether or not I should charge my headphones or not. And another good thing about having these is that I always know like where my headphones are in my room. I don't ever like lose it on my desk or in my desk or in my backpack. Every time I get home, I just place it there and I know where they're gonna be the next time I want them. And another good thing about having separate charging sources is I never have to worry about whether or not to charge my headphones or my phone. There'll be some days in the middle of the day where I get back and my headphones need charging and my phone needs charging and I only have one cable for that. Now I can always just plug it into my phone and I put my headphones on my wireless charger and it really just kind of saves a headache and some worrying. The flat wireless charging pad I have is called the Native Union Drop and it works very well. And my other is the Samsung Fast Charging Stand. It says fast charging on it, but I've noticed that it's not quite as fast as the actual lightning cable itself, but wireless charging is not as efficient as the actual direct port. So that's why I only use my stand late at night because I know throughout the night it'll give me the full charge, but if I'm just in my room for an hour or so, I usually plug it into the lightning cable because that'll give me a faster charge. And again, these are just little things you can put into your room just for like the convenience sake and it can really just save some headaches down the road. And those are my essential dorm room tech items for 2021. If you found any of these items interesting, I'll leave links down to them all below. I wanna make a disclaimer that I am not part of the Amazon affiliate program, so none of this is gonna benefit me. I'm just gonna put them down there to make your life easier if you want one of them. So if you liked the video, learned something new, or if it helped you make that purchase decision, then please like the video and subscribe as it'll help me, and I don't want you to miss any future content I have, and so, until next time, everyone, have a great day and cheers.